Hello, hello, hello. This is Tony Mike Grevin coming to you from Chicago, as usual, although I still have my Northern Michigan background. Trust me, I'm stuck here. I'm stuck here in the city. I'm not I'm not chilling on Lake Michigan out there. Although it's only a block away, but <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't look like that here. <laughs> it, it really doesn't. All right, all right, all right. Uh, I have more people to thank. Lady Noel put me on, or Lady Noel put me on to to a Judge Bryant clip that's that that's pretty darn good. Kristen and Trevor City hooked me up with yet another good video, and uh, I, I got some I got some Judge Van, which I haven't which I haven't viewed, but we'll we'll, we'll watch together and see if there's anything in there. He, he's usually entertaining. Let's get it going, shall we? Don't say a word. Oh, and go ahead and put yourself on mute now. All right, Mr. Burke, are you still able to hear me okay? This is Judge Cooney again. Oh, you're muted. Uh, can you figure out how to unmute yourself? Yes, sir. Thank you. All right, so Mr. Johnson, go ahead. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, I, we, we had gone over the chart pre previous to today um, in this case, but I just wanted to chat with Mr. Burke about that. Um, he's sitting in jail, so it sounds like there's some new charges coming, but he hasn't been arraigned on those. Um, but on the charges that we have for formal read, not guilty, please be entered on his behalf. Um, he also understands his trial rights and his right to a trial, and he would be requesting court appointed counsel at this time. Would like the court to make the fact um, I have been asked to represent him. Um, recently as this this past year so uh, i think a personal bond here is i know him i represent him all the time <laughs> not not a strong start appropriate that being said i have informed him that if he gets arraigned on on his other counts and he's not able to post that bond to let the court know um so that he can modify this bond so he is getting credit I don't, I don't know if this is audio. All or right, audio. so um, not guilty plea. You said you've gone over the nature of the charges and maximum penalties, and he's waiving a reading. That is correct, Your Honor. Okay. So uh, Mr. Burke, if you could please raise your right hand. Do you swear or affirm that the statements you're about to give regarding your financial situation are true to the best of your knowledge? Yes, sir. Okay, you put your hand down. And you, what, what is your phone number? 231676 8563. Hey, hey, hey. That's a shady lane in Lake County. No, it's the shady lane in uh right off of Barlow. At the town of Country Okay. Yeah. Uh so uh you have an email address you check regularly. Okay, I, I'm going to have to do this. The email address is fantastic, but I'm going to I'm going to try to I'm going to try to let it go long enough so you hear it, but 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 not identify the email. <laughs> just 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 trust me on this. Yes, yeah, sir. What is that? It is uh, James <laughs> underscore Rick. What was it, it's James underscore Rick. That's right. I'm Rick James, bitch. <laughs> I forgot about that part. Three at iCloud.com. Oh. Okay. And uh, what are your living arrangements? Uh, I currently live with my fiance. We're trying to uh, 
was trying to move into a cheaper apartment because uh, I pay fifteen hundred dollars a month for that place right now. Uh, obviously, I just lost my job because I'm here. Here, so uh, yeah, I have uh, a month left to pay on this lease, and then uh, I gotta. Fix- I forgot about this. I had a busy day. I was gonna cut a Rick James clip, but I didn't. <laughs> Sometimes a lot of times their emails are the best. Uh, we had make it make sense and and others. We had others that, that are just fantastic. Figure out another place to go. Okay, do you have any dependents living with you? Yeah. How many? Yes. Yeah, just one. And uh, do you have any other source of income besides the job you just lost? No, sir. Any uh, significant balance in a bank or checking account? No, sir. All right, we'll go ahead and appoint an attorney for you. We should be contacting you in the next three business days. With regard to the pre-trial conference, Ms. McGuire, you want to pick it up? It'll be July 18th at 9 a.m. July 18th. And, uh, I, I flipped back to, I, oh, God, I, I went past it because I'm trying to not reveal the whole email address, but, but we do, we do have this tremendously uptight judge reading back uh, Rick underscore James to him. <laughs> Oh, it's good. Let's see. How about the uh, bond, Mr. Johnson? Your Honor, I think a personal bond would be a major charge. Um, he does have another charge that's pending. That's what's holding him. Um, it, it, we're not clear at this point in time what that charge going to be, um, nor obviously what bond would be there. But I do think a personal bond in these cases would be appropriate. You're saying he was arrested on another charge just recently? Yes, Your Honor. And no bond has been set yet? Okay. So this is file 9631, correct? Yes, Your Honor. Don't worry, the defendant gets to talking. Okay, so this is the attempt unlawful use of motor vehicle. Reckless driving and driving system. Oh, thank you, PVC. Come on, Judge. Let's work on pacing here. I got a stream going. No. No. This one gets worse. <laughs> All right. Well, the defendant does have a significant criminal history that includes drunk driving and drug use, uh, driving uh, suspended, and other traffic violations. Disorderly jostling and. I, mean, I don't think those yeah. charges are 
significant in any way. <laughs> well, I do. So. <laughs> well, the defendant doesn't think those, those these other charges are significant, so he, he'd like the court to go ahead and disregard that. <laughs> Yeah, funny the judge doesn't see it that way. Anyway, I'm, these are significant charges. It's a uh, <laughs> one-year misdemeanor with reckless driving, including with the unlawful driving away and driving on a suspended license again. So I'm going to set a. $5,000 or 10% bond. That means you'll have to post $500 to get out on this charge. In addition, you have to operate a motor vehicle for any reason. You need to appear at all court hearings. You need to uh, not any criminal offenses. You need to notify the court of any changes in your address or phone number. Do not operate a vehicle with any amount of a uh, controlled substance or uh, alcohol. Do not to uh, <sighs> Possess any alcohol in mind of the altering substances or non prescribed medications or illegal drugs. There will be once a month testing for controlled substances and. Can I just ask him? Why am I going to uh, get tested? At this time, no. Uh, Four times a month. Testing for alcohol, random, and discretionary testing for both drugs and alcohol. What the fuck? So those are the conditions of your bond. And uh, is there anything else for you, Mr. Johnson? Uh, Your Honor, thank you. That's crazy. We're all set for this morning, sir. You can let the jail staff know we're all set. Boy, I'm just getting railroaded here. To try to contact the child or get any information on who has. So, he, so he, he drops an F-bomb. The judge the judge heard it. He pretend he didn't. <laughs> and just carried on, which is fine. Here we have, uh, we've got the Honorable Lenise Bryant on her high horse. Uh, I believe rightfully so. But it's always fun to see. As the child at this time, however, I will try to reach out to my officer in charge to see if there's any further information as far as if there was a BBC Let me tell case. you what we know about that child. We know the child's name. Therefore, we can go and we could pull up the child's birth certificate if they were born in the state of Michigan. And the birth certificate may give us the child's father's name. And what I'm saying is, and we also know Miss Caroline Jackson's name. And Miss Caroline Jackson has a birth certificate too. And her birth certificate might have her parents' names on it. And if they living in Florida, then we got Google, we got name search, we got whatever we have. But I'm telling you all this, and this, and I'm not just putting it on the prosecutor, because I'm telling you that I'm going to issue it to the police departments. I want the child's name. I want the child's date of birth. I'm issuing it. I'm issuing a witness detainer. I want a witness detainer for the child. And then whoever has that child need to bring that child back. So I'm not dismissing the case. That's understood, Jack. We'll see where we are on July 5th and see how many warrants and 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 detainers and all of that that I need to sign. We're going to see how all, how many I need to sign. All right. Anything further? So, Judge, can we set it for the third for no. Monday? No. No, because then I'm. However many jurors come in here on July fifth, 
somebody paying for them too. If they don't get that child in, in here, they're going to pay for those jurors too. They're going to pay however many jurors show up for jury duty on July 5th. Whoever has that child in their custody, they're going to pay for that jury. They're going to pay for the jury. So I don't know if they got to get the, the walking. I don't know if they need to go, get start driving. I don't know if they need to get a plane ticket. I don't know what the situation is. But I'm sending to the police a be on the lookout for with the child's name in it, almost like an Amber Alert. I'm putting a witness detainer on the child and anyone who has care, custody, and control over the child. Because, number one, they being ridiculous. <laughs> it's a misdemeanor. But I will not hesitate to lock them up, too. On a show cause. I, I might have to clip number one. They're being ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I enjoyed it too much. It's a misdemeanor. <laughs> so they being ridiculous. <laughs> and I hope they watching or listening some kind of way. Because you're being ridiculous. It's a misdemeanor. But I here you go, Judge. I'm helping you out. I'm helping getting the word out. Whoever whoever these people are, bring this bring this kid to court, or she's coming to get you. I can make it into a felony. I promise you, I can make keeping that witness from this court a felony. I'm talking about witness tampering and everything else that goes along with it. That's what I'm talking about on this misdemeanor case. They better present that witness. And no, I'm not scheduling it for Monday. Understood. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Your Honor. You're welcome. Anything further? So, Judge, the, the court wants the people to send or uh, produce a witness detainer for the court? Yes. Send it. Okay. And, then, and then, Mr. Flanagan, we're going to send it to the chief of police. I was just talking to the chief of police the last week at the um, drug court graduation. He said, Judge, it's so nice to see you. Anything you need, let me know. Look at that. I want you to send it to the chief of police for the Detroit police. I want you to send it to the Wayne County Sheriff. I'm going to send it to the Wayne County Sheriff. And I'm going to send it to the state police. And I want them to put on a be on the lookout for. Understood, Judge. And I want them to send that to, I'll, I'm going to send it to the Florida State Police because there's so many little places in Florida, we don't, we can't even send it to all the agencies, but we're going we gonna to send it to the, to the Florida State Police to let them know there's a witness detainer on a young lady that's underage that's in the state of Florida being held, held by somebody in the state of Florida who is tampering and interfering with, with the case. Okay, it, that's, that's all. Anything else? No, thank you, Judge. Thank you. All Nothing right. on behalf of Ms. Jackson. Thank you, Your Honor. We're You're welcome, and we're all set. She's not playing. Have a great day, and I'll see you on July 5th in person at 36 District Court. The wheels of justice are going to roll you right into the Wayne County Jail. Mr. Ward. Yes. Sir, you're fully court charged of capital sexual battery, victim less than 12. Sexual battery, victim between the ages of 16 and 12. Losing lascivious battery and losing. Okay, I haven't seen this, but I, I, I saw in the chat that, that there's some good stuff that happened. We don't have we don't have our usual sidekick. Well, we'll see. Losing lascivious molestation. You understand the charges? I understand you've been giving copies of paperwork and advice of your rights. Is that true, sir? <clears throat> Can you repeat that, please? I understand you've been giving copies of paperwork and advice of yes. your rights. Today. Yes. Based, yes. On, based on your application, I find that you do qualify. I'm going to go ahead and appoint the public defender to represent you. Any question about that? No, sir. Jeff, any criminal history? No, Your Honor. No, Your Honor. On the capital sex battery, bond is 250000 Sexual Yow. battery victim between the ages of 12 and 16, 150000 Ow. The Louisville Civis battery is 100000 the legal and civil small station is 100,000. No contact directly, indirectly, or through a third party. Let's victim or the age of 18. Good luck, sir.
Step over to the tea, please. Why is it still a tea? When Fambro's out, we should change it to something else, something that makes sense. Huh? <laughs> like an X. I don't know, an X. A V for well, me. See, Your Honor, we already have the X that they stand on when they speak to you. So make a square. The square. The square. Okay. I think the first thing they should stand on is a, this is just me, it should be a triangle facing towards the TV. That way they know which way to go. <laughs> and then we can go to the X to sign. That's just. That's All just right, me. Yeah. Though. I will suggest I that to Miss Fambro. Right yeah, well, I'm going to have to come out there and do it myself to get it done. Because Miss Fambro is not going to change it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right here. Look, I'm not saying that all physical therapists are sadists. I'm not. I'm not going to say that. Yeah. I'm not saying. I'm not saying that they all enjoy inflicting pain on people. I'm not. I'm just going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say that everyone I've met does. <laughs> that's all. I thought they're in the business of healing. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's sweet, Callie. And that's precious. I've, I've been so, multiple times. Like somebody's yeah, never been to physical therapy. No, I've been <laughs> three times. I've been in car accidents. Were they nice? Did they call the team? I've they had dry needling, so... No, that they send electrical. Cool. They sound, uh, send electrical currents through your muscles to call them to um, these. <laughs> the tens machine. It's like it's, it's like a tens oh, machine on steroids. Yes, but it's like it's like getting a tattoo almost. I imagine just without. Did that any, work? Did that... It did. It helped me for a while, but you had to go pretty often. Really? You don't have a tattoo. I don't. It's the closest thing I can imagine to it, though. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> yes, yeah, all the pain, none of the fun. All right, is this Mr. Cooper? Yes. Mr. Cooper, you're for the court charge of trespass, possession of paraphernalia, and possession of meth. Do you understand the charges? Uh, possession of meth, I'm not not cool with because I didn't have no meth on me. It was, it was just a pipe, and I've been charged with possession I'm of paraphernalia on, with a pipe. Mr. Cooper, I'm just Mr. letting you know. Mr. Cooper. I'm letting you know that they tested the they tested the pipe. It had meth residue. That's why they charged you with it. I'm not saying it's going to stick. Okay. I'm just saying that's what it is. Okay. I'll, 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 I'll go with that. I'll go with that. Okay. All right. <laughs> Based on your application, I find you do qualify for the services of the public defender's office. I'm going to go ahead and appoint the public defender to represent you. So you have. At first, he wasn't cool with it, but now he'll go with it after after a little talking to you from Judge Van. <laughs> I'm an attorney now. Any question about that? No, sir. All right. On the trespass bonds, a thousand. On the drug paraphernalia, a thousand. On the possession of meth, is three thousand because it is, I admit, sketch. Your court date's going to be July the seventeenth at nine o'clock at random UAs. Good luck, Mr. What's today's date? The twenty sixth of June. Twenty sixth, seventeenth. Mr. Cooper, do you think you're going to be able to post no, that no. bond? No, I'm um, um, broke as hell. I'm going to try and get you on an earlier docket, but I make no promises. Yes, ma'am. Step on over there for me, please. Good luck. Yeah, I mean, again, I almost forgot. Almost. Almost. All the ones I know. Really? They're not doing that. They're not going to. Okay, you can look at it that way. I'll tell you how I look at it. These were the kids that caught granddaddy long leg spiders and pulled the legs off. <laughs> yeah. 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 I told that the physical therapist today. <laughs> yes. Your Honor, with our order change, number 12 is unable to make it to video court today, sir. Oh, I hate that. Mm -hmm. oh. Well, Mr. Pickett. Judge he doesn't want to pull has an extensive history. Yeah, he doesn't want to pull with defender either. Uh, his bond's fifty thousand. His court date's going to be August the seventh at nine o'clock. No contact with the alleged victim. Is in this Russ? Yes. Ma'am, you're for the court on a failure to appear for a pretrial conference in front of Judge Stevenson for stalking and battery. You understand the charges? Yes, sir. Judge Stevenson has requested you be held without bond. I'm going to honor that request. Your court date is going to be July the 20th at 9 o'clock. Good luck, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.
Yeah. 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 Damn, she looks familiar. I think I've seen her on another call. No bond, huh? We ought to have like walk up music. <laughs> Here we go. I would walk into back in black, but I'm not wearing my robe. So. Or, <laughs> State your name for the judge, please. Teresa Raisbeck. Mr. Raisbeck, before the court, charged uttering false banknote, impersonating or attempting to use another person's identification for fraud and grand theft. Do you understand those charges? Um. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I see you've been given copies of paperwork and advice of your rights. Is that true, ma'am? Yes, sir. Based on your application, I find that you do qualify. I'm going to go ahead and appoint the public defender to represent you. Any questions about that? You've got an attorney now. You've okay, got an attorney. You. I, I gave you a PD. Thank you. Come on, history. 2020 <laughs> passing counterfeit instruments, 2018 fraud, uttering false banknotes. Larceny, theft more than 300. Um, Miss Raysback? I don't have none of those. Okay, it's just a criminal history, ma'am. Goes back to 1997, Your Honor. All right. 5,000 the fraud, 5,000 the fraud, 5,000 the grand theft. Court date's going to be July the 13th at 9 o'clock. No contact directly, indirectly, or through a third party alleged victim. <laughs> State your name for the judge. Ms. Torres, you're for the court on a violation of probation for a domestic violence battery charge. You understand that, ma'am? Yes. Based on your application, if you do qualify, I'm going to go ahead and appoint the public defender to represent you. So you have an attorney now. Your bond has been set at $7,500. Your court date is going to be Wednesday, June 28th at 1.30. Good luck to you, ma'am. Thank you. Step over there. Okay. State your name for the judge. Curtis, you're for the court charge of domestic violence battery against that charge. You said your charge was domestic violence battery. Do you understand your charge? I understand. All right, Ms. Curtis. Based on your application, I find you do qualify. I'm going to go ahead and appoint the public defender to represent you. Any question about that? Do I get to go home? Well, I don't know. That's going to depend in a large part on what that young lady to your left says. Deputy? Um, the only thing she has is 2013 out of Georgia, sale, distribu distribution, or possession of dangerous drug, possession of controlled substance, possession of meth. That was in 2013. That's completed. That's what I said. Yes. Okay. Georgia. <laughs> what brings you down here from Georgia? You live here now? Yes, sir. Okay. All right, ma'am. I'm going to release you on what's called pre-trial release. You report to the pre-trial release office before nine o'clock tomorrow. Your court date is going to be June 28th at 8:30. That's Wednesday morning at 8:30. You're going to have no contact directly, indirectly, or through a third party alleged victim. You understand that? Wait, what? That's my best friend. Yeah, no, that's no, not right now. It's not. Stay away. <laughs> That's crazy. It's a violation of your release and you have to be held without bond. Okay, but like, so I can't go home? Not if you share a residence with that person. No, that's fine. I'll go to my mom's. Okay, good. All right, thank you. Yep. <laughs> Great. Yep, right over there. I don't feel great. State your name for the judge, please. <laughs> Yeah, so Jeffrey, you're for the court charge of domestic violence battery. You understand that charge, ma'am? Correct. I understand you've been given copies of paperwork and advised of your rights. Is that true? That is true. Based on your application, you've indicated you're going to hire your own attorney or represent yourself. Is that, is that also true? 
Uh, no, I did ask a defender. Oh, you did, but you make too much money. <laughs> By, <laughs> like, okay, not even well, not even got close. it. Okay. Got it. So, so your options now are to represent yourself or hire your own defender. How's that? I got you. Okay. All right. But you're right. You did ask. Jeff, you want to bet? I'm going to bet. No, Your Honor. That's what I, look, I'm a. Th I'm a th All right, Miss Jeffrey, I'm going to release you on pretrial release. You need to be at the pretrial release office before nine o'clock tomorrow here at the courthouse. They're going to process you out today. Your court date is going to be June 28th at 8.30. That's Wednesday morning at 8.30, okay? Okay. You're you're to have no contact directly, indirectly, or through a third party with the alleged victim. Okay. Any questions about that? Well, no, but he's the only one down here that I know, so he's planning on picking me up. <laughs> yeah, that's – maybe we can get somebody else to do that. I don't know anybody else here, really. Can, okay, no problem. Right? Yeah, I'll figure it out. Yes. No problem. Good. Good. <laughs> Good. Good. Good talk. Good luck. Go ahead you and step over there. I'll see you in the morning. Right there. We have a pin sign. Okay. Right there. Red X, take your right to the judge. It's right there. Um, Malachi, yeah. Chicken Gate. Mr. K, you full court on a driving license suspended or revoked. You want to send a charge, sir? And wait yes, sir. I'm sorry. Mr. Court, I understand okay. you've been giving copies of paperwork and advised of your rights. Is that true? Yes, sir. Based on your application, I'm going to qualify. I'm going to go ahead and appoint the public defender representative so you have an attorney now. Any question about that? Yes, sir. Yeah. Jeff, you yeah. Mr. K. Alabama fraud in 21, failure to appear in 21, 2019, possession of liquor under 21. That's famous. I don't know. Really I don't know that I don't know that my hypocrisy can, can handle someone possessing alcohol under the age of 21. Um, Mr. Cade, what brings you down here from Homewood? Um, I came down here for work. Okay. Was... You, you staying down here? Yeah, I live here. I'm supposed to switch over my license and stuff like here soon. Yeah, you need to do that sooner rather than later. You got like 10 days once you start work down here to get that taken care of, okay? Yes, sir. But you grew up in Homewood? Yes, sir. Uh, no, I actually was born here, but like, um, oh. I know where Geneva, you know where Geneva, Alabama at? That's where I'm originally. Yes, sir. I do. I do know where that is. Well, this is an important question for you, Mr. Cade. Alabama or Auburn? Alabama, man. Roll Tide, man. Roll Tide. Okay. <laughs> All right, Mr. Kate. Well, Mr. Kate, I'd already written it down anyway, but you're going to like it. I'm going to release you on your own recognizance. Your court date is Wednesday, June, June 28th at 8.30. Good luck, sir. Thanks, sir. All right. Step up next. Roll Tide, Mr. Kate. Green light, light up. Right here. I'm going to read it. Wait for the wind. Just take your name for the judge, please. James Sanders. Hayden Sanders, Mr. Sanders, doing, sir? possession of an open container and trespass. Do you understand the charges? I've read them. The trespass. Okay. Do you do you want a public defender, Mr. Sanders? Do I want? Do what? Yeah. Do you, do you want a public defender? Yes, sir. All right. I'm going to find that you do qualify. I'm going to appoint the public defender's office to represent you. On the open container bond is 100. On the trespass, 100. Court date's going to be Wednesday, June 28th at 8.30. Good luck, sir. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you. Okay, step over there, please. Let's see what happens. Mr. Hernandez, how you doing, sir? Good, thank you. Mr. Hernandez, you're fully court charged leaving the scene of an accident with property damage. And driving under the influence of property damage. You understand those charges? Yeah. All right, sir. I understand you've been giving copies of paperwork and advised of your rights. Is that true, sir? Uh, yeah. You've indicated you've been a hire your own senior or represent yourself. Is that how you want to do You've indicated you're gonna you're gonna hire your own attorney or represent yourself. Is that how you're gonna proceed? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Deputy, come on, history. No, Your Honor. No, Your Honor. Mr. Hernandez, what brings you over here from Tallahassee? 
I just come down to the beaches once a okay. month. Okay. Bonds fifteen hundred on leaving the scene, twenty five hundred on the DUI. Court date is going to be June twenty eighth. You're good. Okay. Thank you. Eight thirty. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Go over there, please. Oh. Mr. Bruckner. Yes. Come on in. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Yeah. Thank you. Right here? Yep, that's good. If you'll stay tuned for the judge, please. Uh, Michael Bruckner. Mr. Bruckner, your full court charge driving under the influence and possession or use display of a suspended DL. Do you understand those charges? Uh, yes, sir. All right, sir. I understand you've been giving copies of paperwork, advised of your rights. Based on your application, I find that you do qualify. I'm going to go ahead and appoint the public defender representing you. Any question about that? No, I didn't understand. You got a public defender now? No. You have a yeah, public no. defender now, sir. Okay. Yeah, you can go, Mr. Brown. Oh, it, 2019 resisting without DUI, 2018 oh, felony battery, wow. law enforcement, firefighter, and she. I was in the hospital. And then lots of the 5,000 DUI, 2,500 DWSR. Court date's going to be June 28th at 8:30 with random UAs and no alcohol. On payment of the $7,500 bond. All right, this poor guy. We move you over here, okay? He doesn't know where he is. Two feet. Watch your feet right there so you can sign, okay? Yeah, sign right here for me, okay? okay. Good morning, or afternoon, how are you doing? How are you doing, Mr. Is it Veladores? Yeah, uh, yes, sir. Your full report has no valid driver's license. You understand that charge? Yes, sir. Yeah. All right, sir. I understand you've been giving copies of paperwork, advise of your rights. Based on your application, I find that you do qualify. I'm going to go ahead and appoint the public defender to represent you. Any question about that? Um, what does that mean, sir? I don't. Well, you asked for a public defender and we gave you one, okay? Okay. Hey, are you going to be here for the next couple of days? In Florida. Yeah, in Florida. When are you supposed to get when are you supposed to go back to Durham? Oh no, uh I, I work working in Alabama one hour. Here. Yeah, that's fine. All right. I'm gonna release you on your own recognizance. Your court date's gonna be June twenty eighth at eight thirty. That's Wednesday at eight thirty in our port. All right, thank you so much, sir. I will be there. Good luck. Okay, move over there for me. Thanks. State your name for the judge. Levi Maharo. Sir, you full court charge no valid driver's license and possession of alcohol as a person under the age of 21. You understand those heinous offenses? <laughs> All right. Are you also living down here, Mr. Mamara? Yeah, I'm, I'm working with you. Uh, okay. We work you're, good. you're good. I'm going to release you on your own recognizance. Your court date is going to be Wednesday, June 28th at 830. Okay, thanks. So I'll be there. Step right over there. Thank you. Sorry. My hypocrisy knows some limitations. Yep. Mr. Pardue. Yes, yes, sir. Mr. Pardue, you're the portrait of the best I understand you've been given copies of paperwork and advised of your rights. Is that true, Mr. Pardue? Sure. Based on your application, I find that you do qualify. I'm going to go ahead and appoint the public defender to represent you. So you, you have an attorney now. Thank you. Deputy, come on, Mr. Pardue. 2018 DWLSR habitual narcotics equipment possession, possession of methamphetamine. Possession of methamphetamine times two, excuse me, and 2014 LNL times two, cruelty towards child. Well, I'm 5,000 of meth, 1,000 of paraphernalia, random UAs, court dates July the 13th at nine o'clock. Good luck, sir. Go ahead and step over there, Mr. Pardew. Next. Next.
obviously, if Brooke is watching this, I was not talking about her as being the physical therapist that is evil and sadistic. I would never say that about her. I gotta see her tomorrow. <laughs> uh, Mr. Rigdon, your full court on a domestic violence battery by strangulation. You understand that charge? Uh, yes, sir. I understand you've been giving copies of paperwork and advised of your rights. Is that true, sir? Yes, sir. Based on your application, finally, you do qualify. I'm going to go ahead and appoint the public defender to represent you. Any question about that, sir? No, sir. <laughs> yes, no, 2018 aggravated assault with a weapon, 2016 battery on victim, 65 or older, and a failure to appear. It's all been dropped. Yeah. Congratulations. Bonds 25,000, no contact directly, indirectly, or through a third party alleged victim. Court date is July the 13th at 9 o'clock. Good luck, sir. So, so Mr. Reagan. 25,000, so like 2,500 to a bondsman? Yes, sir. Yep. Yes, sir. Yep. No contact. Directly, indirectly, or through a third party alleged victim. Yes, sir. Um, is there a possibility of a bond induction hearing at all? Am I supposed to ask That's between you and your it? circuit judge. Yes, sir. Mr. Doggett, come on in. Red X, state your name for the judge, please. Matthew Doggett. Mr. Doggett, your full court charge of driving under the influence, possession of more than 20 grams of marijuana, and possession of cocaine. You understand those charges? Yes, sir. I understand you've been given copies of paperwork and advised of your rights. Is that true? Yes, sir. All right, sir. Based on your application, you make too much money to qualify for a public defender, but the law recognizes. Your financial situation may change, in which case you can reapply later. Any question about that? All right, sir. No, sir. Yep. Criminal history, Mr. Target? No, Your Honor. <clears throat> All right, man. I'm going to release you on pretrial release. Submit to random UAs directed by your pretrial release officer. Your court date is going to be June 24th at 9 o'clock. You're not to possess or consume alcohol while you're on pretrial release. And again, you're going to be subject to random UAs. You understand that? Yes, sir. Yeah. Your That's Honor, also, Your Honor okay. just to clarify, yeah. July 24th? Yeah. What I say? June? June yeah, July 24th. It'd be hard. I mean, it'd be 362 days from now. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, dang, y'all are busy. <laughs> uh, we're not that busy. Anybody tells you we're that busy lying to you. <laughs> We don't, we're not we're not yes. given yes. we're not given a court date a year out. <laughs> I don't even have a calendar yet set, set for next year. I don't think. Step over there. Uh, step I think she's working on that. Sorry. She's probably working on it as we speak. She's probably, she's probably listening in. She's probably right now. So she's gonna take me all the way to the next scene. So this is Mr. Brunet. Yes. Yeah. Sir, you're full of court charge of possession of paraphernalia and burglary of an occupied dwelling. You understand those charges? Yes, sir. I understand you've been given copies of paperwork and advised of your rights. Is that true? Yes, sir. All right, sir. Based on your application, you've indicated you're going to hire your own attorney or represent yourself. Is that how you want to proceed? Uh, yes, sir. I reckon I will have to hire my own attorney. Okay. Excellent. Deputy criminal history. Tennessee in 2021, he has a failure to appear in 2014, aggravated burglary. Both did. That was a help. Yeah, he just stepped out. Bond said at $1,000 on the possession of paraphernalia, 25000 on the burglary of an occupied dwelling, no contact with the alleged victim. Court date is July the 17th at 9 o'clock. Good luck, sir. Uh, just one question. Yeah. The 800 that the deputy sees, can I use that for my bond? That was my money. I come down here to go to Florida on my family's well, over at the got, room. Right got, now. Well, Judge, I think well, 300 of it might have been um, evidence or return to the victim. So, well, yeah, if it's in evidence, you're not going to get that back until the case is resolved. Okay. okay. So, Can I use the proceeds of my crime to bond myself out for my crime? <laughs> I can use the five. Oh, yeah. good lord. I don't know what you can use and what you can't use. Next. 
Director, state your name for the judge, please. State your name for the judge, please. Charles Alosio. Alosio, you for the court charge of theft as a third or subsequent offense and possession of paraphernalia. Do you understand those charges? Yes, sir. I'm a little unclear on the first one, but someone's kind of explained it to me. Well, it's at Walmart. <laughs> that you exited through the automotive, passing several points of purchase with items that you had not paid for, allegedly. Yes, sir. Uh, I was just under uh, uh, as, uh, one not aware of the uh, the status of the felony. It went back twenty four uh, years yeah. on. Yeah, and you keep you keep you keep doing the same thing over and over again. We bump you right up. That's great. Yeah. So, all right. Based on your application, you do qualify for the services of the public defender's office. I'm going to go ahead and appoint the public defender representing you. Any question about that? No, sir. Deputy, criminal history? Georgia, 2016, DUI, child endangerment, and domestic violence battery. Okay. All right. On the felony theft, bonds 5,000. Court date is August the 7th at 9 o'clock. No contact with Walmart. On the paraphernalia of bonds 1000 court date's going to be wednesday june 28th at 8 30. good luck sir uh, thank you your honor Step over have a nice head. evening Step Step over 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 here. Here. Yep. Great take me in for the judge please jesse edward holder mr holder you're for the court to possession of marijuana with intent to sell or distribute possession of paraphernalia possession of thc oil and tampering with evidence do you understand the charges yes I understand you've been given copies of paperwork advised of your rights based on your application. If I let you do qualify, I'm going to go ahead and appoint the public defender represent you. So you have an attorney now. Any question about that? No. Jeff, any criminal history? Uh, 21 in California, disorderly intox, enter, closed, disaster area. Oh, that sounds horrible. It was a it wildfire. Was a disaster area? It was a wildfire, and I went back onto my own farm to get my horses. Brother, I, I would have thought the entire state was a disaster area, quite frankly. That's me. <laughs> yes, All sir, right, man. On the possession of marijuana with intent to sell or distribute, bonds five thousand. The paraphernalia is a thousand. Th Hill was five thousand. The tampering is twenty five hundred. Court date's going to be July the seventeenth at nine o'clock with random UAs. Good luck, Mr. Holder. Okay. Step over there for me. State your name. Anthony Christopher Conway. Sir, your full court to open possession of open container on the right of way. Gosh. In a violation of probation for a burglary charge. You understand that, sir? Yes. Kelly, I understand you've been given copies of paperwork, advised of your rights. Based on your application, unless you do qualify, I'm going to go ahead and appoint the public defender to represent you. So you have an attorney now. I'm going to put a thousand dollar bond on the open container. Your court date is going to be June 28th at 8:30. You're held without bond on the VOP. Your court date is going to be August the 9th at nine o'clock. Good luck, sir. Thank you. Go ahead and step over there. Thank you, PBC. Yes. Say your name for the judge, please. <laughs> Mr. Simmons, your full court turns an aggravated battery with a deadly weapon, no intent to kill. I understand you've been giving copies of paperwork and advice of your rights. Is that true? Yes, sir. All right, sir. You've indicated you're going to hire your own attorney to represent yourself. Is that how you're going to proceed? Uh, probably hiring an attorney, yes, sir. Okay. Deputy, come on, history. He's out on bond, Your Honor. Case number 22-4686-CT. With the DUI. No. With Brian Barnes. Okay. Well, and he had already violated pre at least once, Judge, this year in that case. What judge is that? You, Judge. Oh. oh, beautiful. All right, Ms. Simmons.
I'm revoking your release in 224686, holding you without bond in that case. On the aggravated battery, bond's 50,000. No contact with the alleged victim. It's going to be July the 13th at 9 o'clock. Good luck, sir. Thank you, Judge. Later, Thanks, Your Honor. Let's do it again tomorrow. Ten, uh, tomorrow's early though. Hold on. 10.30. 10.30 tomorrow. 2.30? No, 10.30. 10.30. Here, I'll, I'll make sure Callie got off before I can tell her. She's gone. She, she disappeared. She G-O-N-E. She's gone. Yep, she's gone. Well, there you have it. Good stuff. Although people were behaving themselves on the second part of that call. <laughs> Judge, Judge Fan was making me laugh uh, through most of it, but uh, it, it, it did get uh, downright respectable there for, for the last few. People are just, uh, just, just playing along and acting normal. Although he, although he did call it the entire state of California a uh, disaster area. <laughs> Judge Fan doesn't care. He doesn't care at all. We had we had uh, Lenise Bryan on her high horse, and we had uh, we had a cranky defendant in Trevor City. <laughs> Good times. Thank you all for coming out. I appreciate it. I will see you all soon.